Okay guys, today we are going to be talking about something that I get a lot of questions about and that is my sharpening setups as a whole. So in this video, I'm kind of making this video uh, speak so that when people leave comments, I can just refer them to this and have a video to go over what I use and what I like for keeping my knives sharp. Uh, as always guys, before we get into it, please don't forget to comment, like, share, subscribe, check out the Patreon and the Instagram. This support means a ton. Okay, so if you guys have been around the channel for any time at all, I'm sure you realize that I have a lot of knives and collecting knives is one of my kind of hobbies, passions, something I like to do and coming out and using them is something else I like to do. And so when you like to collect knives and use them, you end up running into the conundrum or problem of sharpening knives. So uh, you do have to have a pretty good sharpening setup in my opinion to, you know, be able to have lots of knives, use lots of knives, review knives, and such so uh, so let's start off with my home setup now my home setup unfortunately obviously I'm filming my I'm filming out of my truck so I don't have it uh, readily by but I did uh, grab a few images or I did grab a few videos uh, like little snippets that I'm gonna roll in and show you guys my setup it's nothing too elaborate or too crazy essentially all it is is the Wicked Edge Pro and uh, it just and I got the one with the quartz base and I just wanted that nice heavy base for it so that it's not trying to wobble around and uh, I didn't really have any good place to mount the Wicked Edge itself so I just wanted to get a, a base stone for it so that it would just sit there and you know have a good base wherever it ends up going. But anyways, so right now it's just sitting on my desk and uh, yeah, it's just the Wicked Edge Pro and I have I think four stones for it. I'm probably gonna get the 1500 uh, grit stone for it as well but right now i have everywhere from a hundred to a thousand grit and then of course the leather strop uh kind of not stones but leather strops for it as well as you guys could see in the video so i have you know the general good stones for reprofiling edges and keeping edges sharp when they go dull or restoring edges when they go dull so once again, not the most elaborate setup, and I'm also not the greatest with the Wicked Edge. I do need to use it a little bit more, but I am getting better with it. And I've actually done some pretty cool, like um, regrinding or taking knives down in angles. So, you know, a, a knife that might have like a 25 degree angle, taking it down to like a 16 degree angle. I was able to do that very effectively with the Wicked Edge. And uh, that's one of the primary reasons I do like the Wicked Edge is it is very good at reprofiling edges and making them thinner or thicker if you, that's your preference and you know just shaping blades the way you need to the other thing that i really do like about the wicked edge uh, and the reason that i was drawn to it was that it is very fast once you get used to it it does take a little bit of time because it is so unusual because you have two sharpening stones one for each side so it does take a little bit of practice to get good at sharpening fast with it but once you get yourself dialed in honed in um, it is actually very very fast and you can if you're not careful remove a lot of material very quickly which is a pro and a con at the same time uh, you don't want to just you know destroy a knife edge but at the same time like i said if you are trying to regrind something or reprofile an edge especially if it's like a damaged edge it is very nice to be able to do it quickly so the wicked edge is pretty cool um, they are unfortunately quite expensive so you know it might not be the most applicable system for everyone but once again you guys asked so i'm sharing what my uh, sharpening setup is and so yeah that is my at home system is just a wicked edge pro and uh, i definitely like it i would recommend it if you are in the market for a serious professional sharpening system and once again if you're similar to me and you have you know a couple dozen blades uh you know that you do use on a regular basis that you like to keep sharpened and or if you have a lot of expensive knives that you use because that's the other kind of driving force to why i got a more expensive sharpener was you know when you buy 400 500 600 blades and you use those blades you know it's nice to not just have some cheap sharpener that's you know like 20 dollars and gonna ruin your 600 knife it's nice to have a professional sharpener that is going to match that factory edge so 
Those are some reasons why you might want to consider having a professional sharpening system if you have either A, expensive knives, or B, a lot of knives. Like I said, I think the Wicked Edge does well in both regards because it's fast, so I can sharpen a lot of knives, but it's also very precise so that I can put good edges on my blades. Anyways, that is a sharpener at home. I thought I would also roll in uh, briefly my field sharpeners. Now, I have talked about this before in other videos, but since we're on the topic of talking about um, sharpening systems, thought, what the heck, might as well throw them in. So this one, still nice and dirty, is my uh, Spyderco Double Stuff. And what this is, is a double ceramic. So you have a hard ceramic or kind of coarse ceramic bit on this side, and then you have a fine ceramic bit on this side. This is around 400 grit. This is around 1,000 grit. And um, once again, it is my field sharpener. It's kind of down and dirty. It's not meant to be, you know, give you a mere polished edge. It's not meant to be the best sharpener. But what I like about the double stuff is you can use it on a plethora of different tools. You can use it on knives to make them, you know, re reasonably field sharp. You can also use this on axes, on hatchets. So it is multi-use, you know, it's very versatile. And that's something that I like that I don't actually see in a lot of sharpeners that like field sharpeners out there. So this one has a good amount of versatility. The other thing I like is the fact that this is ceramic. So unlike your diamond coated uh, sharpeners, that kind of run out of their sharpening or they kind of lose their cutting ability as you use them. Ceramic is super hard and that is how it sharpens things is it's just such a hard material. It's harder than what you're sharpening. So the nice part about having uh, ceramic, ceramic sharpening, so the nice thing about having ceramic bits or sharpeners is that they realistically never really go dull. So there are a lot of uh, steel coated or diamond coated steel sharpeners out there as well. Things similar to the Falcon, even DC4 or others, you know, where it is a diamond and ceramic. So you do get the fine part of the ceramic, but you still have that diamond side. And uh, I just like having both sides ceramic. It makes it a lot more durable. And once again, for a system that I want to be reasonably careful free with i really like the fact that it's dual ceramic don't have to worry about it really you know like getting damaged in any way unless you maybe drop it um you know it's going to be a pretty tanky system or it's going to be a very reliable system at that so that is the spider co double stuff i'm not entirely sure spider co makes these anymore but i think they do if not uh, i would just look for diamond stones uh, you know, preferably two grits similar to this. This one's just handy because it's two of them adhered to each other and it comes in this nice little leather pouch. Okay, next to the Double Stuff by Spider Co. is a pocket strop. Now, I've done a video once again on this as well, and this is an interesting little company. They are a small business, and they make these really nice strops that, as the name implies, they are pocket strops. They're designed to be very carryable, very small, and once again, it is right around the size of my Double Stuff. So, aside from the little tail on it, it is basically the same size as my Double Stuff. So, usually, I will keep these two together, basically like this, and I'll throw them either in a pocket or in a pouch or on my pack and uh, just have this as my field sharpening setup. So basically I have my 400 grit for rough kind of getting an edge back or if an, image, if an edge is damaged, I can kind of repair it, then sharpen it and then hone it with a uh, strop. So that is my setup. Once again, it's far from perfect and it is of course like a field setup. So it's kind of coarse, rough around the edges, but uh, it does work reliably for, you know, getting me a good solid edge. And if, you know, I don't have the time for the strop, I can just hit it with a thousand grit ceramic and be, you know, have a usable edge. But if I do have the extra time and need the extra precision, I do have the strop available for stropping it, making it a little bit finer. So like I said, the pocket strop and the Spyderco double stuff kind of make up or comprise my field sharpening setup. And then of course, whenever I get back into, you know, whenever I get back to my at-home setup, then I would just use my Wicked Edge to bring the edge back to where it needs to be. And uh, yeah, so that is my setup at home and away from home or in field. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, I get tons of comments and I guess it kind of makes sense because I do have a lot of knives. So people always ask, you know, what, I, what am I using for sharpeners? That's what I'm using. Like I said, it's not the best or it's not the cheapest, but for me and how 
for, but for me and what I want, it I think fits my needs very well. So anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed checking out this video, learning about my sharpening setups. And as always, God bless and I'm out.